I'm studying English at home exactly three months ago. For this, I work every day, but I have one problem speaking in another person. Condition, I understand 90%. I understand 90%. I'm just reading through this. For this, I want to advise me for growth, speaking fluently and very easy, and better not stop for remember the word in time I need to speak. I think the idea there is I, w I don't want to have low, to stop to think fluency. of words. Yeah, low fluency, and I don't want to have to stop and think f think about words. W which question do you like? Uh, well, I can answer both, actually. Um, the second question first. Uh, I think that if you don't have access to a teacher, um, and even if you do have access to a teacher, actually, um, but you have more time and you want to improve very quickly, uh, speaking into your phone is very good. Um, so get, get your phone out and speak into the um, like voice notes um, and let's say find yourself a question. Um, you could look at IELTS questions, you could look at, I don't know, interview questions, you could look at any kinds of questions. But you find those questions and then you turn your, um, your, vo your phone on and speak for one minute, then finish, save it, listen to it and maybe even write it down, write down what you've said and see if you can identify what your problems could be. So let's say if you get to this area of English, let's say, I don't know, you're talking about um, sports and you have to think for a long time about many different words, then you know that that is a weak area for you. So you can go away uh, and you can look up some different vocabulary, read some articles about sports, and then come back maybe one week later and try the same question again and see if you've, see if you've improved. I think that people don't, because they think, oh, well, I, I can't evaluate myself and I won't be able to correct every mistake, so why try? But that's not quite right. You can, mm -hmm. you'll notice some things. At least, even if it's not 100%, you might notice 30%. You might say, oh, I had a, there's an issue here. If your writing and reading are better than your speaking, then if you have that written down, you will notice things. And that's at least a way to get better. I recommend that people use, there's one app called Otter, which is quite good because you can just speak into Otter and it does the punctuation sentences and commas for you. It's, it's a good voice voice notes app. It's a, a dictation. You can listen to the recording and see what you said, then go back and do notes. It's good. Solid advice.